Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at uh, surface area and volume of a, a rectangular pyramid in this case. Now, uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, just have a quick look at what measurements we're given. Where you can see here we've got a slant edge of 50 centimeters, and the base is actually rectangular. We're told it's 40 by 20. Okay, so there's a few measurements missing. We obviously will, we would need, okay, you can see here we, we're going to need these heights. These are the slant heights of the uh, triangular faces. Okay, so we're going to need those slant heights to find the surface area because we need to find, you know, the area of the triangular faces in the base, which would be just 20 by 40. Uh, we're also going to need to find the height. Okay, the height here. Okay, this is basically from here up to the, the, the apex, if you like, of the uh, pyramid. And um, so we're going to, need, going to need to find that as well. Okay, so how are we going to do it? Well, the first thing is, uh, let's actually just have a look. Well, we know across here, okay, this is, you can see here the, the actual um, height is actually in the middle of this diagonal here. So let's actually just call, uh, let's actually just uh, call this A and A. So this is A, a and A. And you can see here, we know that Okay, um, 2a squared, let's have a quick look at this. Uh, what would a be? Well, 2a all squared, you can see here is equal to uh, 40 squared plus 20 squared. Uh, that's obviously what 4a squared is equal to what, 1600 plus uh, 400. Okay, you can see 4a squared is equal to 2000. Uh, a squared is equal to what? Uh, 500. Okay, A is equal to okay, the square root of 500, uh, which we could simplify to. As you can see here, 100 would go into that, so we could say that's uh, 10 root 5, okay, if we wanted to. Okay, but we're going to leave it as the square root of 500 to start with, so we might write that in. Okay, so let's actually start as we find these measurements. So we know A is what? The square root of 500. So that's. Okay, what is that value there? Well, you can see here, this is actually in the triangle here, coming around this way. We can actually work out what the, the height is of that particular triangle there. So let's actually call that uh, H1, the, um, the first height. Okay, so let's actually just call this uh, H1 in here. H1, it's a bit hard to see. Okay, so H1 is... Uh, Okay, the perpendicular height here. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be perpendicular to the base, if you like, a normal coming out from the plane of the base. Okay, now how are we going to find H1? Well, we can see again that's obviously Pythagoras. So let's actually just uh, have a look at how we do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. Um, So what what is h1 squared? Well, you can see h1 squared is equal to now. Well, what is it equal to? Well, it's uh, if you have done Pythagoras, you know, okay, well, it's going to be 50 squared, okay, minus okay uh, a squared if you like. Basically, because it's uh, a shorter side, uh, you could rewrite that as uh, 50 squared is equal to h1 squared plus a squared if you wanted to, and then rearrange it, but Hopefully you can see that this is h1 squared is just 50 squared minus a squared. Now a squared is 500, or a is equal to the square root of 500, so that is, uh, you can see here, what's that? That's 2,500 minus a squared, so that's just minus 500, okay, which is equal to, say, 2,000. Okay, so that's h1 squared. You can see here h1 is obviously equal to the square root of 2,000, that's a positive height, we, okay, we're not worrying about the negative uh, square root, obviously heights are positive. Okay, so we can see here, we could take out, um, we could simplify that as well. Okay, but I'm just going to uh, uh, leave that as the square root of 2,000. Okay, so H1 would be the square root of 2,000. So let's actually just write that in as well. Okay, so H1, okay. Let's have a look. Uh, so, okay, this is uh, 
So the square root of 2,000. So that is actually h1. Okay. Now, we're going to need to, well, to find the uh, triangular faces, perpendicular heights. We're going to need to find a few other measurements. So let's actually just, uh, let's just draw in what, what could we find. Well, we know that from here across to here would be also halfway. So it would be... Uh, and we know that there across to here would also be halfway as well. So let's we actually just write some of those measurements in. Okay, so um, half of 40. So this would be, say, 20 here. 20. Um, okay, so that would be 20 centimetres. This way was half of 40. And the other one would be only 20, so that would only be 10 there. 10 centimetres. Okay, so... What are we going to need? Well, we're going to need the different heights. So let's actually have a quick look at what uh, heights we're going to need. Well, we're going to need this height coming down this way. Okay. And we're also going to need another height coming up this way as well. Okay. So we're going to need those particular heights as well. Okay. So um, let's try and work them out. And uh, let's see, just change the colors. Let's actually call this one uh, H2. And this other one over here. Uh, Let's call it H3. Bit of a hard one to see. H3. H3 is uh, okay, the larger of the triangular faces, perpendicular height. Now, where are these uh, right angle triangles? Well, okay, we've got uh, we've got right angle triangles all over the place here. We've got them in here. We've got them across this way. Um, we've got them actually in the corners, which we used to start off with uh, as well. So we're going to need uh, basically. Um, let's have a look. We're going to need this one coming across this way as well onto that one. We're going to, okay, we need these, obviously these are the perpendicular heights of the faces. Okay, so let's actually try and work out what um, H2 is now. We've already got H1, uh, so H1, now let's just see. What triangle are we going to be using? Well, you can see here it's starting to get complicated, but we're going to be using this triangle in here. You can see here, this one in here. That's the triangular face we're going to be using. You can see here we have a, a 20, a H1, we know, but we don't actually know what H2 is, and that's what we're actually after for H2. So let's actually try and work out what H2 is now. Okay. So what is H2? Uh, now, H2 is actually the hypotenuse, so we know H2 uh, all squared is equal to the base, which would be 20 squared, and you can see it, it'll actually be h1 squared. Okay, one squared. Okay, you can see that's just uh, what's that? 400 h1 squared would be uh, well, it's uh, 2,000. So you can see here it's 2,400. That's h, so h2 squared. Therefore, obviously, h2 is equal to what? Uh, okay, H2 would be the square root of 2,400. Okay. And we'll just leave that as the square root of 2,400. So let's just, just write that on as well. In red. So H2. Can I just write here? Might be able to just fit in here. Square root of 2,400. Okay. So we're getting there. Okay. So um, now H3. Okay. It's... Uh, Let's try and work out what H3 is next. Okay. All right. So let's actually let's see. We're slowly getting there. Okay. Now, uh, what triangle are we involved in here? Well, if you have a quick look, it's just going to be in this triangular face in here. This is the one we're going to be involved with now. And we need to find um, H3. Now, uh, H. Three. It's a bit hard to see where H3 is. Let's see, see if I can actually move H3 out a little bit. This is H3 in here. Um, okay, let's see if I can grab H3 and move it. Oh, it's moving H2 as well. Okay, H3 is a perpendicular height of the larger triangular face there. You can see there. So H3, what is it going to be? Well, have a look. H, H3 squared. So H3 squared will be equal to, okay, the base, which will be uh, 10 squared. Now, H3 is actually uh, the hypotenuse, okay, and it's also going to involve H1 as well, so it's going to be 
uh, plus h1 squared. Now h1, uh, we know it's the uh, square root of 2,000, so that's like a 100 plus, but, uh, okay, 2,000. So h3 uh, squared, so you can see here h3 is uh, the square root of, okay, 2,100. So uh, let's actually try and write that in as well. Okay, so h3, let's come down here, the square root of, oops, uh, slightly um, off the edge there. I'll try and move that back in onto the edge. So that is, should be now, what, 2,100, 2,000. Okay. Now, you can see here we've got measurements all over the place. Now, how are we going to work out what the surface area is? Well, let's actually just go through it. Well, first up, obviously there are the base. So let's actually quick look, quickly look at the surface area. We're going to need to add up all these different individual bits. Okay, so, so the surface area, you can see here is the base plus the triangular faces. Now there's two uh, different types of triangular faces. There's a plus a, a face one times two. There's two of those. Uh, and these are triangular faces. Uh, and there's a triangular face two, which is a, a, the bigger one, and we need to multiply that by two as well. So we need to basically uh, work this out. So the, what's the base? So the base would be just uh, what, that's um, 20 times 40 or 40 times 20. Okay, so the 40 times 20, as you can see, it would be just 800. Plus, now the triangular faces, let's do the smaller ones. So there's two lots, two of them, and they're half the base, which is 20, times the perpendicular height, now which is h2, which is the, the square root of uh, 2,400. Now we need to add on the other ones, 2 times the bigger ones, so half times, now this is going to be 40, times its height, which is the square root of 2100. Zero, zero. Okay, so we're going to need to uh, basically add all this up to get the surface area. And it should come to 3612.83 centimetres squared. So it should be... Okay, so this would be the surface area of this pyramid. Uh, it's just a two decimal places. 2D. Okay, now how are we going to work out the volume? Well, we don't need all these triangular faces heights. We just need the H1 to get the volume. So let's actually just uh, try and work out what the volume would be. Okay, well, I've just cleared out a few of the heights here that we don't need. And we're now going to work out what the volume is. Let's have a quick look. What would the volume be? Well, for all pyramids, the volume is one-third the area of the base times the perpendicular height, which is h1 in this case. Now, so the area of the base is, uh, what, uh, 20 times 40, so it's about 800, so it's 800 on 3 times the perpendicular height, which is, okay, the square root of 2,000. Okay, so this is going to be our volume. Okay, I just need to work this out on the calculator. And it works out to be about 11,925.70 centimetres cubed. Okay. 11,925.70 is a centimetres cubed, or cubic centimetres. Okay. So this is our volume. Okay. You can see here the capacity is about, say, 11.9 litres, if you want to write that. So, uh, capacity approximately 11. Point nine litres. Okay, so you can see obviously the volume is written correct. Uh, this is 2 dp, two decimal places, and uh, we've rounded off our, our litres to the nearest 100 mils. Okay, 11.9 uh, litres. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll try some more uh, in a while. Bye for now.